a local law enforcement agency and a civil rights activist weigh in on the president's executive order. News 8's Heather Hope has the San Diego Sheriff's Department's statement on its standards and reaction from an activist. This was a brush over. We're just going to do something. We want the protest to stop. Feeling like President Donald Trump's police reform executive order is a slap in the face. Civil rights activist Reverend Shane Harris says the legislation doesn't go far enough. This is nothing but protections for law enforcement agencies. There's no accountability in this executive order. Banning chokeholds unless an officer feels threatened. What's different from that and what we've already had? In the White House Rose Garden today, Trump aimed at restoring law and order. I strongly oppose the radical and dangerous efforts to defend, dismantle, and dissolve our police departments, especially now when we've achieved the lowest recorded crime rates in recent history. The president encouraged efforts to defend, not defund police, as has been the big outcry in recent racial justice protests following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Americans also believe we must improve accountability increase transparency and invest more resources in police training, recruiting, and community engagement. The order would create federal incentives for police departments that seek independent credentialing to certify that law enforcement is meeting higher standards for the use of force and de-escalation training, including the possibility of banning the use of chokeholds. We don't need more training. We need law. We need policy. We need accountability. The San Diego County Sheriff's Office weighed in, saying in a statement in part, we will continue our longstanding practice of encouraging with our communities. We have always been open to discussion and making any necessary changes when needed. We work hard to provide services that are fair, unbiased, and respectful to everyone. We hold ourselves accountable to the highest standards expected by those we serve. Americans believe we must support the brave men and women in blue who police our streets and keep us safe. Trump's police reform will create a database to track when officers have been terminated or have been criminally convicted for on-duty conduct or faced civil judgments for improper use of force. We're going to track officers where they have misconduct. It will be recorded. But then what happens after that? Heather Hope, News 8.